Hello everyone, welcome to Edu School Learn From Home. Today we'll be discussing another property of chapter definite integration that is queen of all properties and why it is known as queen because in priority there is another rule that is king rule then the queen rule comes right now the king rule I have discussed in the previous video so please make sure to watch that video I'll also give the link to that video in the description or you can check my playlist so without wasting time let's get started now this property says 0 to 2a f of x dx is same as 0 if f of x is equal to minus f of x now twice of 0 to a f of x if f of x is same as f of 2a minus x now hold on I'll explain properly now for example you need to replace sum of limits minus x now when you replace sum of limits minus x if your function gets negative when you replace sum of limits minus x then your answer is 0 but if it doesn't change when you just replace your sum of limits then you can write this particular integration to i sub 0 to a f of x dx right but here is an important note that is your lower limit must be 0 in this 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 one must be 0 compulsory right compulsory this should be 0 to apply this rule Hmm. Now, I'll take an example to make you better understand. For example, consider this. i is equal to 0 to pi sin x dx. Now, first you need to check sum of limits minus x. If I'll do i equal to 0 to pi sin x, right? Now, I'll replace sum of limits minus x, right? I'll replace x with pi minus x. Now you will see the function, this function f of x doesn't change its value when you replace with pi minus x because sin pi minus x same as sin x, right? So you can write this integration as i is equal to twice of integration. Make the upper limit half pi by 2 sin x dx. Hope you got it. Similarly, now look at this example. Now here the function is f of x is cos x. Now when you substitute this or we check this one sum of limits minus x like uh, we will replace x with pi minus x. Now cos pi minus x is minus cos x. Now this is basically this one like negative sign comes. So here i is equal to 0 straight away. Right. To make you better understand and do let's solve some more problems now look at this question it's not easy to solve cos to the 5x dx right in indefinite integration method so what we'll do we'll first check sum of limits minus x when we replace or we check just sum of limits minus x that is 2 pi minus x your cos x value doesn't changes right so we can write 0 i is equal to 2 0 to pi cos 5x the upper limits gets half and 2 is multiplied over here right now again check replace x with pi minus x now when you replace x with pi minus x this becomes minus cos to the 5x so i becomes 0 as per this one as per this one right now sec moving on to another question look at this one i is equal to 0 to 2 pi sin 4x dx now you can solve using cos 2x all those formula but i'll use properties now let us see how again we'll check sum of limits minus x when you check sum of limits minus x that is 2 pi minus x your function value doesn't changes right so we can write i is equal to twice of 0 to pi sin 4x dx got it the upper limits gets half the lower limit is as it is 0 and 2 is written over here got it now you can write again if you check pi minus x with this function it doesn't changes so we can again write i is equal to 4 0 to pi by 2 sin 4 x dx and now here here it's important thing is in the previous video i told about the king rule apply the king rule and add the two equation make it equation number one and after applying king rule you will get another equation that is this one right this make it and add this and after adding you will get this one 2i 4 cos 
Now here I am applying formula a square plus b square formula that is a plus b whole square minus 2ab. On applying you will get this solve and get it solve and get the answer the answer will be 3 pi by 4 right. Let us solve another question. This is one of the important property right. Now this question says i 0 to pi dx upon 1 plus 2 sin square x. Again check pi minus x. The function is this whole term is a function right. When you will check you will see there is no change in the function when you replace sum of limits minus x. So you can write twice 0 to pi by 2 dx on 1 plus 2 sin square x. Right. Now if you put again check it you will see this become cos square x and you might be thinking you use king formula but it is not suitable over here. It will become more complicated. So you will we will use uh, indefinite methods like we will divide up numerator and denominator by cos x cos square x. So you will get this x square x tan x and you can solve it as it is by taking tan x as t differentiating you can solve this like we did in indefinite integration same applies to you another question question says i 0 to pi sin q x dot cos q x dx now again apply the up above form i mean this one just check just check pi minus x you will see this becomes whole negative right that means i is equal to 0 directly ok got it now there is an important and most important standard result that you will use in boards as well as in competitive exam important uh, result it is basically a standard result which you need to remember that is 0 to pi by 2 ln sin x dx is equal to 0 to pi by 2 ln cos x both indefinite integration value is minus pi by 2 ln 2 now i'll make a separate video on this standard result and i'll solve some more problems so till then bye study well see you in the next video